When someone asks, how was your day? Do you often reply, it was very satisfying? Welcome to another episode of Hack Learning. It's what you can do tomorrow. I'm your host, Mark Barnes. And in the open, I asked a question and I've got some more for you. Do you exit a roller coaster and exclaim, that was a very satisfying ride? When you last dined at a five-star restaurant, did you tell the server that you just couldn't wait for a satisfactory meal? Hopefully, you answer no to these questions. Hopefully, your day, your roller coaster ride, and your fine dining experience are wonderful, amazing, and most important, they involve the F word. For most people, yearning for the F word, fun, is a basic response to many situations. Shouldn't this be true in teaching and learning? The answer seems obvious, but I learned recently that many teachers believe that it's more important for learning to be satisfying rather than fun. Witness this Twitter conversation. Inspired by a blog post in which the blogger, a teacher, was saying that we need to focus more on academics and less on fun. Suggesting that teachers who want to make their classes fun are ineffective. There was a comment on this blog, and I tweeted about it. Here's the tweet, and you can find this over on our show notes page at hacklearning.org slash F word. I just read a comment on a blog post in which a teacher said that lessons should be satisfying rather than fun. Can you imagine asking your kids, how was your school day? And their answer being, it was satisfying. If satisfying is your best, it's time to reevaluate. Now, this tweet sparked a lot of conversation on Twitter. Tons of engagement, likes, retweets, and comments. And uh, I, I think it's useful. It's meaningful to look at these conversations and to see if we can take anything from it that makes us better. I, I love Twitter for that reason because we read a lot of things we disagree with. And a lot of people disagree with me. And again, you can find this on my Twitter feed at Mark Barnes 19 But again, you can click right over to it if you visit our show notes at hacklearning.org slash F word. The article that inspired the tweet was by a blogger, again, suggesting it's not important for learning to be fun. And if you get over to that Twitter feed and you read these, you'll see some people agree with the blogger, while others believe academics should be both meaningful and fun. Here's one example from that Twitter conversation of someone who weighed in. Why does school have to be fun? So many educators sacrifice learning for activities that are fun, but that doesn't support the instructional core. How about school being meaningful? And here's another one from that same thread. I definitely prefer satisfying as it connotes a long-term feeling and memory. Fun is just a split second, like a laugh after a joke. Satisfying feeds the soul. Hmm. Now, I'd never thought of that in terms of satisfying. And some people pointed out what satisfying means. Or someone suggested that there's sort of a new generation understanding of satisfying and I guess I'm just still in the old generation because I see that word as something different. And someone suggested maybe this whole conversation is just about semantics and we really all want the same thing. And that's possible as well. Well, I say bring on the F word. And I want to illustrate with an example from a hack learning series book by Mike Roberts called Hacking Classroom Management. Now, this is not a book that's really about academics, although certainly there are pieces of academics in the strategies. But this is all about engaging with kids. And I want to share from one of these hacks in this book by Mike Roberts, The Hack in Action. Hack in Action is a part of hack learning books that people love. And they, they tell me this on Twitter, Facebook, in person. And I love the idea that there's practical strategies in a book, but then there's a story and someone's actually doing it. So in this hack where Mike is talking about having fun, in fact, he even refers to it as the F word. I want to share with you uh, a little bit of this, and you can check it out in Hacking Classroom Management. At South Bonneville Junior High in the mid-1980s, Mrs. Roberry's room was the place to be. In the mornings, she would open her classroom early so we could hang out. At lunch, after chowing down our food, we would head to her room and draw pictures on her chalkboard. And during class, well... That's when things really got interesting. I remember her telling us stories about her childhood. 
She also gave us a few minutes each week to share the latest appropriate joke we had heard. I think of the times she had her husband come to class and play songs for us on his guitar and us making up geography lyrics based on some of the most popular songs of the time. And more than anything else, I remember wanting to impress her because I didn't want to be the reason that the fun would end. So while it was fun that drew me in, it was my respect for her that kept me in check. Current high school junior Sydney Young understands the connection that Mrs. Roberry made with her students, and she sees the benefits that come from weaving fun into the daily curriculum. Fun related to the material, such as watching a video, hearing jokes, or getting on a tangent, all feel like off-task fun, but actually lead me to make new connections, enjoy the material, and spend time processing the information, Sydney says. The best classes I've had blend the curriculum with a perfect combination of fun and many celebrations. And it's that combination that led me to be successful that class. She adds that the value that comes from these experiences runs deeper than simply gaining a better understanding of content. During these activities and celebrations, she says, I connect with students I might not normally speak with which increases my confidence about participating in discussions or presenting because I feel as though I am among a large group of friends. Mrs. Roberry knew how to use the F word in her class, and Sydney sees its benefit from the student perspective as well. Are you willing to add the F word to your class? That was an excerpt from Hacking Classroom Management by Mike Roberts, and this book is all about engaging with kids. And some people might say this is a different conversation. And we've certainly done a lot on this show with books by James Sturdivant. I call the engagement guru. He's written Hacking Engagement and Hacking Engagement Again. And has a wonderful podcast called Hacking Engagement. And Jim has provided uh, 100 hacks for engaging kids and at the same time getting them excited about learning. You see, the one person who tweeted in that conversation about this topic brought up the, the word meaningful and said, shouldn't learning be meaningful? I think that learning can be meaningful and it can be fun. And I've experienced this in my own years as a classroom teacher. And let me tell you, for many of those years, I wasn't fun. There was no F word in my class, none of any kind. <laughs> and it was, you know, sort of a stiff and sterile environment. And it was all about the curriculum. And I learned later on that if you can bring fun to learning, kids want to learn. And really, shouldn't that be the goal, to get kids to want to learn? Hey, I encourage you to visit us at hacklearning.org slash F word. Check out these show notes. Click over to that Twitter feed if you like and add your own commentary and keep the conversation going. And whatever you do, please, please consider bringing the F word to your room. This has been another episode of Hack Learning. Be sure to check out Hacking Classroom Management, Hacking Engagement, and all books over on our Amazon page at hacklearningbooks.com.